What's up guys and welcome back to Cigar Shack UK, the number one place for the prestige smoke in every single one of you and the place where we dive deeper into the world of cigars. Now today we're touching on a topic that is quite dear to my heart and it's a topic that's not really spoke about a lot, especially here on YouTube and that is why people outside the cigar community never really understand our fascination with the world of cigars. So grab your favourite stick, grab a drink, light it up and let's jump into the video. Now before we start, let's address the elephant that's in the room. Now for people outside the cigar community, it might seem a bit baffling while we choose these simple little things as our hobby, our passion, and for our pastime. They may question our devotion, our passion, our enthusiasm for these little rolled beauties. But the truth is, there is so much to these little gems and there's more than what meets the eye. So this video isn't just for you amazing cigar enthusiasts, it's also for the people who don't quite understand why we love these little things. First and foremost, it's a sensory experience. Imagine the aroma of one of these beautiful cigars as you take that first draw that just fills the air and dances around you like a symphony. The flavours that then dance on your palate, ranging from rich earth, cocoa, chocolate, cedar, spice creamy literally is just a symphony that dances around your palate that many things in this world that can deliver that same experience as a cigar but it's not just the taste and the aroma that captivates us the act of smoking a cigar is an art form it's a ritual in itself from the careful selecting of which cigar you want to smoke to the cutting technique to the toasting and the whole lighting process as a whole it's a journey that requires patience talent, skill, and time. And in today's fast-paced world where the time doesn't really stop that much, it's quite a rarity that you get that. It allows us to slow down, appreciate the moment. Let time stand still for an hour. Savor the moment and the finer things in life. Now let's address the second elephant that's in this room. A lot of people do argue that cigars are bad for your health. And while smoking any tobacco product does carry its risks, it's essential to point out to people outside of the cigar community that cigar enthusiasts approach this in moderation. These aren't cigarettes that we're gonna be going outside and puffing on every 15 minutes just to get that nicotine rush. It's, it's a social setting, it's a relaxation. It's, so, it, it's, it's a way to celebrate life's milestones. Another thing I've gotta add, it's the camaraderie that comes with smoking cigars as well. Now I know this from running Cigar Shack UK. We have an amazing community of people. Constantly got people in our DMs. We even have a Telegram group, which I will leave a link in the bio below. It's free, anyone can join, where we talk about cigars, we buy, trade, sell. It's absolutely amazing, amazing group of people. So feel free to join below. But you can walk into any cigar lounge in the world and find people from all walks of life, all culture, all different financial standings, occupation, different colours, backgrounds, it doesn't matter, all engaging in conversation over a cigar. The shared love of cigars transcends colour, age, background. Now this is where it gets interesting. A lot of people outside of the cigar community see these little brown things as mere objects without understanding the entire story that goes around and into making one of these and the history they carry. Cigars have been part of a cultural heritage for centuries, symbolizing celebration, achievement, and of course, relaxation. They've been present at a lot of pivotal moments in history, shared amongst world leaders, politicians, artists, CEOs, business partners. And as being a cigar lover, we become almost part of that tapestry of history. We're all linked together over our love of the tobacco leaf. And embracing this tradition binds us to that history. And while we're on this topic as well, we can't, we can't ignore the fact of exploration that comes into smoking cigars as well. There isn't just one type of cigar in this world that we all seem to just smoke. Every single one has its own little unique characteristics, whether it's size, color, blend, history, story. Every single cigar is different. And then outside of that, the world of cigars is so vast. Different countries, sizes, 
brands, different missions from those brands and what they want to achieve in the cigar community and in this world. It's like embarking on a journey of taste and discovery in itself, where every cigar becomes an opportunity for us to expand our palate and our mind and deepen that appreciation for something so simple. So when an outsider points out that this is just a cigar, they're not seeing everything that goes in behind it. They're not seeing the entire world that goes into making a simple roll of leaves. And we haven't even touched on the topic of maintaining them. We can save that for another video. And by just seeing these things as mere objects and not wanting to experience it for yourself, missing out on all these connections. It's not just about smoking a cigar. It's, um, it's immersing ourselves in a world that combines art, history, tradition, and of course camaraderie. To truly understand why cigar lovers love this and there's such passion towards them, you've got to throw yourself into the experience. The sensory delight, the craftsmanship, the ritual, the stories are woven into every single one of these cigars. Why did the master blender choose this particular blend? What was going through their mind when they thought about, I want a cigar to taste like that? Are they trying to reinvent the wheel? Are they trying to make something new? Are they trying to make a better version of a previous cigar? What did this master blender go through all these years and all these experiences to become a master blender of this particular cigar? How long was each individual leaf aged? How was it fermented? How is that different from another cigar? These are, these are literally just the simple stories that go into rolling this for me to sit there and smoke it over the space of an hour. So next time you encounter a cigar lover or maybe your partner is a cigar lover, your family member, your brothers, your sisters. Instead of just seeing it as almost as a bad habit that they seem to have picked up, just take a time to appreciate everything that's gone into that for them to sit there and just slow the world down just for a few minutes. Engage in conversation, ask questions. Trust me, cigar enthusiasts can talk about these things for hours. You never know, you might just find yourself drawn into this world as well. And that kind of wraps up this discussion of why people outside the cigar community will never truly understand why we have such a love and a passion for these little sticks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Help us secure our future on this platform. We've already got 13 and a half thousand followers over on Instagram where we are verified as well. We're trying to secure our future here and I can't do that without your help. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload as well. I'm always uploading shorts as well as these long form content videos as well. And as always, I love hearing from you guys. So make sure you hit your thoughts, your comments, questions down in the comments below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm always happy to help you find your next best cigar. Until next time, my fellow cigar aficionados, my brothers, my sisters, keep on puffing and I'll see you in the next one.